Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 3, Problem Set. The directions say, write an equivalent expression to show the relationship of multiplication and addition. So for number 1, um, I see that I have three tens. I'm adding 10 plus 10 plus 10. That's three groups of 10. So three tens. So what I'm going to end up doing with that is a 3 times 10 because 3 is the number of groups and I see I have 3 different groups of 10. Down below I see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have 7 fours meaning 7 groups of or times 4. The next one. Uh, number three, uh, we're switching it around to multiplication. Now we're going to put it into repeated addition. This means eight groups of two, or eight twos. So two plus 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 two. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, two eight times. Uh, number four, same thing. Three is the number of times uh, that I'll write nine or the number of groups of nine. So there's three nines, and I know that because I'm multiplying, this goes to addition because it's repeated addition. Uh, when we get to five, we're going to start seeing some variables come into play. 6 times m, and I'm going to rewrite that as 6 times m just to show a different look at it. Uh, you will see with the um, number next to the variable that implies multiplication. So 6 groups of m or 6 m's. So I have m times m times m times m times m times m. And I'm going to use the dot that I think you can see in there. You could also use a multiplication sign uh, to show that as well. And the last one, uh, I know that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of D, or D five times. So five groups of D. So 5D, that implies that it is 5 times D. And either one of those is good. You'll probably see just 5D much more. You won't see a whole lot with 5 and then the multiplication symbol, your general multiplication symbol, the X. Um, a whole lot when we're working with variables because X is used an awful lot as a variable. So you'll have to get used to uh, the little dot that we make sure that it's halfway up at least um, because if it's down at the bottom, it could be uh, misinterpreted as a decimal point. So that's how we're showing uh, equivalent expressions um, between multiplication and addition. Hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.